Well, so Fnatic might want to challenge you on his second spot. There they are going in towards high. He gets knocked up by the Cyclone. Rooted in as well. Throws down the barrel. High is still alive. Can they actually chase in for this one? Nidalee going to go in. Flashes are going to be used. And the Spear missed. Well, he's not getting away from that. Auto attack from Peke. First blood right. Fnatic. And at first glance, I agree. It looks stupid. But we're going in a bot lane. Oh, Lemonation. Not going to escape this one. I'm afraid Reckless is going to pick up that kill. And Cyanide played things very, very... We will get to look at it eventually. There it is. Peke is going to try and jump away from this one. Where's he going to go? The damage is coming out. It's too much. And that explosive cast, while it didn't do the knockback, it did the damage oh, on the... See the around on towards Peke. He is going to have to try and pounce away balls. Going to actually dive pretty deep into that one and they jump on. Peke goes down and actually, Lemon Nation may just fall from this one. No. Great flash away. Now they go towards Yellow Star. Meat just can't quite finish that one up. Soaz comes in. Great dark binding, but Cyanide is there as well. Doesn't have his ultimate available they lock up balls can they finish him off so as going on towards lemon nation balls goes down meteos is in there so as did get the kill meanwhile greg has finished off all the members and this time they catch out records and that was not happening last game balls were split and look at sneaky aggressive serialty chasing him down he knows he can beat them because he has the backup of high so out of sneaky they're gonna go on towards yellow star reckless could be in trouble here as well yellow star surely gonna fall to balls and reckless is in between two very very damaging targets well so as goes to the front High flashes away. They turn right back on towards Soas. Ultimate was used as Reckless does kill High. We see Meek just getting onto the killing spree. Sneaky actually getting himself the double kill there by finishing off Expect The Cloud9, they've got around the backside of them. We can see High is in the hole, does land. Yellow Star's gonna be the Patsy. He goes down. High's gonna get dropped low. They can't the get the kill on him though. Mikhail works out for him. Cyanide, is he gonna go down to the Ignite? He may well do. Reckless does manage to get the kill on towards Meteos, but we already see Yellow Star going down. Cyanide will follow. High has gone down. Enough information to roughly know where Cloud9 is. If they're not close by it, they don't have to fish it. Oh, they are gonna push in for this one. Yellow Star once again is a focus of this fight. Balls dives into the middle. Cyclone going up on towards Meteos, can they lock him down? Yes, they can. Soas picks up that kill. Balls is super low here as well. Can they get up towards Lemon Nation? So close, flashing from Soas. Gets in the double kill. Can they get any more though? Cyanide falls dangerously low. Sneaky chasing in. Gets that one. He's now going to be locked up as the pillar comes down. Spear from Peke as well. And that is a three for two in favor of Fnatic. Just coming around the side. High wants to get in there. Ace in the hole being used out. Black Shield did come out for Lemon Nation. As you mentioned, that cooldown is quite long in the Gonna catch out towards that top lane. Reckless going down. The AD carry drops and Fnatic in trouble. The Meteos jumps in. Oh, he was almost destroyed where he stood, but they have managed to get Peke down. Cyanide using that cyclone, but it's simply an escape maneuver. And Fnatic are dropping like flies here. This is almost certainly Cloud9 getting the Baron off the back of this one. As low as possible. Spear did land on Lemonation. They're gonna push on towards Soas and Cyanide. They've separated them from the pack, and it may well work, but they've got good disengage. Fnatic Soas is low. He's gonna get taken down here. Is it gonna be enough? Stranglebones comes out, Meteos is separated, there's the Cyclone, but it's only the Guardian Angel that catch out, and that's going to be another kill for Cloud9. Too late, they have gone deep on towards this one, Explosive Cast, oh, oh my god, Reckless just Holy got crap. destroyed, so has comes it in. Through. They don't seem to be going onto it, they are keeping them at bay here, Here's the balls, balls once again, going big, going deep, Peke getting away from that, Explosive Cast this time around, Lemonation comes in, gets that ultimate running, will go down in the process here, they get themselves the inhibitor to it, but Fnatic can counter it. It. Can they can't turn it? Reckless have to run away though. Meteos jumping on. Yellow Star trying to get away from this one. He's going to get caught out. He's going to jump back on towards Soas. Gets himself the double. Ace and the Hulk comes back on through there. Gets himself the triple. No. It's going to be sneaky that gets the shutdown. Becca goes in towards him. And this is going to be Cloud9 taking victory as they push down the Nexus turrets. Really, really strong performance. Brings them all level in this best of three. And there's another kill in the end for High. All of Fnatic are down. We're all tied up and we're going into the final game of the best of three to decide who goes through to the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. I don't think there's any better story coming out of here. Europe on a performing day one. America showing up. Then Fnatic playing really well today, winning convincingly first game. Cloud9 immediately fixing their mistakes. Both teams are very resilient, both in their play and strategy. And I just wonder, what are they going to come up with next? Is is. Uh...